Good evening, and welcome back, poetry lovers. This is ZM Wise, and here I am with another recording just for you. This is going to be my second book review, and here I have with me the complete poems of Cthulhu. Yes, indeed. Now, this edition was published in 2009. It comes from the company uh, Oxford World Classics. And uh, this includes the parallel Latin text for all you uh, students of Latin. And uh, I personally thought that was bloody awesome because it also offers a language lesson as well as some insight into Cthulhu. Like the blues singer Robert Johnson, sometimes the best way that we, the listener or reader, get to know the creator is through their work, without any biographical information. And uh, very little is said about Catullus's life, other than uh, him going extremely gaga for his lover, Lesbia. A lot of these poems in here uh, show his longing for her, uh, sometimes jealousy towards others um, that are putting the sweet moves on her. Naughty, naughty! Now, um, the two, uh, the, I'm sorry, the 116 poems collected here, they, uh, they show, uh, they're shown in three different categories. The short poems, uh, which, uh, display his, um, I guess his lyrical, uh, format. Uh, the longer ones are usually from romantic legend, and, uh, a lot of them are just plainly romantic in nature, which, to me personally, is beautiful. And then the epigrams, uh, they show his uh, skillful use of invective, which enables him to attack his contemporaries viciously, to be blatantly obscene, and yet to command respect from his public then and now. Shown here, clearly, is a lack of knowledge displayed from the reader. <laughs> I read some stuff on the back. <clears throat> now then, uh, as always, I'm going to read the poem stands out to me the most for selfish reasons and since he has uh, placed all of these in Roman numerals I'm going to read to you poetry lovers poem number 50 at leisure Licinius yesterday we'd much fun with my writing tablets as we agreed to be frivolous each of us writing light verses Played now with this meter, now that, capping each other's jokes and toasts. Yes, and I left there fired by your charm, Licinius, and wit. So food gave poor me no pleasure, nor could I rest my eyes in sleep, but wildly excited turned and tossed over the bed, longing for daylight that I might be with you and talk. But after my tired, aching limbs were lying on the couch half dead, I made this poem for you, the charmer, so you could spot my trouble from it. Now don't be rash, please. Don't reject our prayers. We implore you, precious, lest Nemesis make you pay for it. She's a drastic goddess. Don't provoke her. Now, there's a little section in the back, the explanatory notes, and it goes into each separate poem, what it's about. Um, although I read the explanatory notes, I'm not going to read them to you, poetry lovers. I'm going to tell you what that personally meant to me. Um, when he's talking about, of course, the, or the writing tablets, to me, I pictured a group of some of his allies or comrades in a poetry sort of circle. And they're sort of confessing their own hearts out. And the, the very end, when say she's a drastic goddess don't provoke her to me what i think is gaia or just the just the the holy mother within us the creator uh of all things artsy uh such as poetry so um yes indeed so this is the complete poems now uh this edition includes an introduction bibliography chronology appendices and explanatory notes. I have an appendix myself. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> cha cha cha. Okay. Um. So 
When you have the opportunity, please visit me at zmwisethepoet.tumblr.com. You can see links to my videos, uh, excerpts from my published individual poems, and uh, yes, I'm also on SoundCloud. I've been playing around with a couple of audio programs. I've been reading my published poems out loud, and I've uh, sort of added a few sound effects here and there, whether it's an echo or a higher pitch or a reverb or just something. And uh, yes, of course, I'm always on YouTube, so please come back. You can just scroll through the entire list. There are readings, there are interviews, there's, uh, of course, now book reviews, and of course, I'm still um, carrying on with my uh, Poets Addiction series, of course. And uh, there are also just plain home recordings of me reading my published poems. Now, I believe I was forgetting something. Ah, doi. Poetry lives! <laughs>